continue, I introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Afif bin Musli and I'm from BA 1193D. Okay, before we, before we continue, my friends, I will tell you more about the bank. Okay, done with the introduction, let's back to our topic. Everyone knows about CIMB Bank, isn't it? Or can we call Commerce International Merchant Bankers? Oh, of course, most of you know about it. It is the one of the famous bank in Malaysia, but not only in Malaysia, okay? And also in international. In, it was founded in 1924 and before the name was Bayan Changyang Bank. And after that, in 1986, it was changed to CIMB after acquisition by Bank of Commerce. And one year later, it was successfully listed on Busan Malaysia. And CIMB Group is a Malaysian Universal Bank headquartered in Kuala Lumpur and operating in high growth economies in ASEAN. CIMB Group is an indigenous ASEAN investment bank. The CIMB has wide retail branches, network in 1,080 branches across the region. The group operates under several entities which include CIMB Investment Bank, CIMB Bank, CIMB Islamic, CIMB Niaga, CIMB Securities International, and CIMB Thai. The group business activities are primarily in the areas of consumer banking, wholesale banking, comprising investment banking and corporate banking, treasury and market, group strategy and strategy investment, with it is core markets being Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and Thailand. CIMB Islamic also operates in parallel with these businesses. Malaysia is the largest market for CIMB Bank and there was 294 branches, 7.8 million customers to 2,000 ATMs and over 20,000 staff at the end of 2011. And now, the number increases by year. Tengku Datuk Si Zafrul Tengku Abdul Aziz is the Group Chief Executive Officer and also an Executive Director of CIMB Group, a leading ASEAN Universal Bank and a world leader in Islamic finance with presence in 16 countries worldwide. Alright, thank you. That's for me and my friends. We'll tell later. Alright, thank you. So, I will present about the corporate structure of CIMB Bank. The table shows the board of directors of CIMB Bank in CIMB Group. Dato' Muhammad Nasir Ahmad, he is appointed as a chairman of CIMB Group Holdings Berhad. He also is a fellow of the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, ACCA United Kingdom and Chartered Accountant, Malaysian Institute of Accountants, MIA. He had a Master in Business Administration Finance in University Kebangsaan Malaysia. Tengku Datuk Sri Zafrul Tengku Abdul Aziz, he is the Executive Director of CIMB Group Holdings Berhad. He is also the Executive Director of CIMB Bank Berhad and Commissioner of PT Bank CIMB Niaga. He is the fellow of ASEAN Institute of Chartered Bankers. He completed his Master of Arts in Finance and Management in University of Exeter, United Kingdom, also Investment Management Certificate in Institute of Investment and Research, United Kingdom, and Bachelor of Science in Economics and Accounting in University of Bristol, United Kingdom. Tio Su Yin, she is the Senior Independent Director of CIMB Group Holdings Berhad. She studied Bachelor of Arts in Business Studies, Sheffield Hallam University, United Kingdom, also Business and Technology in Education Higher National Diploma, Business Studies in Sheffield Hallam University, United Kingdom, and Diploma in Professional Marketing, Chartered Institute of Marketing at United Kingdom. Glenn Muhammad Surya Yusof, he has served on CIMB's International Adversary Panel since 2006 and he was Deputy Chairman of the Bank Niaga Bank Lipo Integration Steering Committee in 2008. He also has been a Commissioner of PT Bank CIMB Niaga since April 2010 and assumed his current position as Vice President Commissioner in June 2012. He pursued in Master in Business Management, Asian Institute, of Management in Manila, Philippines and Bachelor of Arts in Economics at University of Philippines in Philippines. 
For Tanan Peter Singh, she is the independent director in CIMB Group and she also is currently the chairperson of the Nomination, Remuneration and Corporate Governance Committee of CIMB Thai Bank PCA. She had finished her Bachelor of Arts from Bryn Mawr College in USA. Robert Neil Combi, he is the independent director in CIMB Group and also is the executive chairman of the ASX listed auto stock group which is a financial services business focused on generation financial solutions. He also the chairman of Cravable Brands which is the largest Australian owned quick service restaurant business. He completed his Bachelor of Laws LLB at University of Technology in Sydney, Australia. Datuk Lee Kok Kwan, he was the Deputy Chief Executive Officer CEO of CIMB Group. He had a Master's in Business Administration and Bachelor of Business Admi Administration first class in Simon Fraser University, Canada. Ahmad Zukanan Chaon, he is a non-independent director in CIMB Group and also the Deputy Managing Director of Hazanah National Berhad. He had completed his Bachelor of Arts in Economics in Harvard and Radcliffe College in Harvard University, USA. Datin Rosaya Muhammad Nashir, she is the Secretary of CIMB Group Company. She has more than 20 years of experience in CIMB since 2002 when she joined the Corporate Legal Services Unit in 2004. She had Bachelor of Laws majoring in Business Law in Coventry, University, United Kingdom. So now I will pass the presentation to Harry. Thank you. Now I'm going to talk about awards and recognition of CIMB Bank Berhad. CIMB was named as a Malaysia's Best Digital Bank 2018 and the Best Retail Banks in Malaysia. Not only for this once, but for the third consecutive years at the Asia Bankers International Excellence in Retail Financial Services 2019. CIMB, which is Asia's fifth largest banking group by assets, said it is now ranked one of the top 10 spend in Asia Pacific in Asia Bankers lead table from 70 places previously. During the same ceremony, Samir Gupta, who is a CIMB Group's Consumer Banking CEO, was also crowned Retail Banker of the Year in Asia Pacific 2019 in recognition of his achievement as a best in class leader in the region's retail in the region's retail banking industry. Now we can see right who plays the big roles here. The bank also won the title ASEAN's Leader in Loans at the International Data Cooperation IDC Financial Insight Innovation Awards 2019 for its consumer banking innovative CIMB One Minute Financing Insta Approval, which was recognized for its responsiveness to market needs, effectiveness of deployments, market response, and long-term business viability. CIMB Group CEO Tengku Datuk Seri Zafro Aziz says, this awards prove how far the group has pushed its own boundaries to deliver great digital banking products seamlessly to its retail customer through smart data analytics and artificial intelligence. He also add that they are thriving consumer banking franchise in SN today is the result of their strong initiative to develop CIMB as a universal bank. And also, these awards will spur them onwards to develop customer centricity, which is also one of the five pillars identified in CIMB's next midterm growth plan, Forward 23. For your information, Forward 23 is a midterm growth strategy launched by CIMB in 2019, which center on five pillars, namely uh, customer centricity, 
sustainability ventures and partnerships technology and data and the last one is its people okay that's all from me i will pass the presentation to the next presenter thank you now let's talk about the product my group choice from CIMB Bank is CIMB Saving for Current Account. For CIMB Saving Account, there are many types of account that we can apply such as Energy Saving Account, Basic Current Account, Basic Current Account I, Basic Saving Account, Basic Saving Account I, Current Account I, EcoSafe Saving Account I, Preferred Current Account, Preferred Current Account I, Prime account, regular current account, and regular saving account. Each of this type of saving gives different benefit, features, and interest rate. But for this topic, I'm just going to share with you guys some of the types of account in CIMB Bank for the benefit, features, and interest rate. Now. Let's see for the benefit for Air Asia Saver account first. For the benefit and the features, this account gives to their client a 250 Air Asia Big Point for every 1,500 ringgit average quarterly balance. Special offer to selected destination via Air Asia, Air Asia e voucher on your birthday, and online statement via CIMB Click Internet Banking. For the interest, Air Asia interest rate up to 1% per annum on the client account bank. For the second account that I want to share is basic current account and basic current account I. The difference between these two accounts is the letter I, which is I is represented in Islamic banking. Now, for the benefit and features, this account gives no annual fee, free ATM and over-the-counter transaction, checkbook and debit card, internet banking and complimentary monthly statement. For the interest, basic current account and account I are non-interest bearing account. The conclusion is, all the types of account saving were for their client to make sure that the client can make saving with their own purpose. For example, if they want to travel, they can save their money in Air Asia Saver. CIM Brief provide to make sure that the client get what they want. That's all for me. Now, I want to continue with Farah Ashkin. Bye. Thank you. The banking product of CIMB is CIMB e credit card. What is CIMB e credit card? CIMB e credit card is credit card that lets you get the most out of your cash use payment, which is in online or offline, from the e wallets, e commerce, auto billing, as well as your everyday in store purchases. If you want to enjoy unbeatable deals and rewards, for, uh, for special days and the second one if you want double digit rewards on the e wallet transaction and the third one if you want get the supplementary card for your loved ones and the fourth you can get the bonus point and use it as cash and the lastly uh, you can get the great discount and bond, uh, an offer enjoy up to 12 bonus points on e-wallet including e-payments and anything else with no minimum spend. The hashtag extra non ordinary CIMB e credit card takes you the epic universe of extra hugging rewards for any payments and more from the online shopping, food delivery, e-wallets, auto billings and also in store payments. It is the quintessential card for you use in the 
Everyday Essential. CIMA e credit card on e day, which is 10 of every month with future partner for the online retail like Shopee, like Lazada. And the second one is the e wallets, which is Touch and Go e wallets, Boost, Settle, and also Grab Pay. And then for third is the auto billing, which is uh, for pay the telco or utilities. And the lastly, for the in-store payment or offline, with the cashless payment, we'll get 12 bonus points plus exceptional deals. While for the other mission is 10 bonus points. For the everyday uh, users, you can get the 5 bonus points. And the lastly, for in-store payment for the everyday is one bonus point. Who should get the CIME credit card? For those who are 21 years old, for the principal card and for the supplementary card if they are 18 years old and above. And second one is the minimum annual income is 24,000 per annum. So for the annual fee, for Principal card is 100 ringgit and the for supplementary card is no charge uh, annual fee. Let's join the e revolution today. You can apply in online, which is CIMB website, by clicking the apply now in the right button under 10 minutes. So, second, you can call the center. You can call uh, CMB Consumer Contact Center and the lastly you can call uh, you can walk in into the CMB nearest branch so let's join the e-revolution today with CMB e